Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Understanding HD Radio. In this presentation, we'll provide a short technical overview of HD Radio and how HD Radio receivers are tested. Traditional AM and FM broadcasting uses purely analog modulation to transmit audio. Analog broadcasting is simple, well understood, and relatively inexpensive but it's also subject to problems such as fading, multipath, noise, etc. By modern standards, FM radio quality is generally considered acceptable for music, but the much lower audio quality of AM radio means that it's now almost exclusively used for speech or talk radio. Analog broadcast technology is also limited in that it has no ability to transfer even the most basic non-audio information, such as station name, artist name, song title, etc. Note that the channel spacing for broadcast radio is often significantly greater than the bandwidth actually occupied by the analog signals themselves. And this is particularly true for FM broadcasts in the United States and the rest of North America. HD radio is the first and currently the only digital audio broadcast technology approved for use in the United States. It's transmitted together with existing analog broadcasts using the extra space within conventional radio channels. We'll discuss this in much more detail in just a few moments. The Ibiquity Digital Corporation was responsible for developing and licensing HD radio technology, and at present there are thousands of stations broadcasting FM HD radio across the United States and in several other countries and territories. Note, however, that AM HD radio broadcasts are considerably less common. One of the main advantages of HD radio over traditional analog radio is that it can provide much higher audio quality. HD radio is often marketed as having CD quality sound. The digital nature of the HD radio signal also allows text information to be sent together with the audio service, and HD radio also supports an emergency alert system. As we'll see later in this presentation, HD radio allows the channel bandwidth to be partitioned such that a single FM broadcast frequency can support multiple signals or programs. It should, however, be mentioned that receiving HD radio signals does require an HD radio receiver. Traditional analog receivers will only be able to receive the analog portion of the combined signal. HD radio is sometimes referred to as a hybrid digital radio service because the HD signal coexists or occupies the same channel as existing analog, AM, and FM broadcasts. This digital signal is carried in the form of sidebands on both sides of the analog signal, and this methodology is often referred to as IBOC, or in-band, on-channel. Many HD radios can switch between the analog and digital signals depending on the received signal strength. As mentioned earlier, the digital HD radio channel can be partitioned in various ways, and this is done in order to provide multiple programs on a single frequency. These channels are denoted as HD1, HD2, HD3, and HD4, although not all HD stations will transmit all four channels. The HD radio bandwidth can be allocated in many different ways, although there are certain restrictions. Note that audio quality is primarily a function of channel bandwidth, so channels with smaller bandwidth allocations are usually intended for voice rather than for music programs. Note, too, that in the United States, the Federal Communications Commission requires that one HD channel must be a simulcast, that is, carry the same program, as the analog FM signal. Now let's look more closely at how IBOX signals are structured, starting with the more common FM signals. FM HD radio signals are encoded in the form of an upper and a lower sideband each approximately 70 kHz wide. These digital sidebands are modulated using OFDM, or orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. 
At a very high level, OFDM means that the signal consists of numerous subcarriers, each of which is individually modulated. One of the advantages of OFDM is greater resistance to multipath and fading compared to analog modulation. There are 190 subcarriers in each subband, and these are grouped into 10 frequency partitions of 19 subcarriers each. 18 of these subcarriers are used to carry data, and one is used as a reference for demodulation. AMHD radio also uses sidebands, but in this case there are three sidebands above and three sidebands below the analog audio signal. The primary sidebands carry the core, or mono audio, and the secondary and tertiary are used to carry enhanced, or stereo audio. In addition, the secondary sidebands also carry data such as station information, time of day, etc. Each of these sidebands is approximately 5 kHz wide. Like FMHD radio, these sidebands are modulated using OFDM, with 80 individually modulated carriers per sideband, including some reference carriers. As can be seen from this and the previous slide, the AM and FMHD radio waveforms are significantly different, both in spectrum and in composition. Testing HD radio receivers is most often performed using vector signal generators, which can create both FM and AM HD radio waveforms. Arbitrary waveform or ARB file libraries, containing a variety of programs, are then input into the receiver, either via a cable or over the air. In order to comprehensively test HD radio, these test scenarios must include single and multi-channel transmissions, additional encoded data such as station and artist name, emergency alert service messages, etc. The waveforms and ARB files are fixed, but the frequency and level of these files can be changed on the generator. Because AM and FM HD radio signals are quite different from each other, different waveform files are needed for testing FM and AM. And finally, some vector signal generators can also add noise and or interferes to the generated HD signal, allowing for more realistic test scenarios or testing reception under challenging conditions. Let's end with a brief summary. HD radio is a digital radio broadcast service used primarily in North America, with thousands of channels currently on the air, the vast majority of which are FM stations. Unlike most other digital radio technologies, HD radio is a hybrid service in which the digital signals are transmitted together with the conventional analog broadcast signals. HD radio delivers significant advantages over traditional broadcast radio, including much higher audio quality, multiple programs or channels per station, and data and emergency alert services. Note, however, that FM and AM HD radio signals are significantly different from each other. Testing HD radios, either during development or during production, is most often performed using vector signal generators to create a wide variety of both AM and FM test signals. This concludes our presentation, Understanding HD Radio. If you'd like to learn more about broadcast technologies, how these technologies are tested, or test and measurement instruments from Rodi and Schwartz, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us at rodi-schwartz.com.